I'm sure everyone feels like Frodo when they're about to drop their 32 ETH into the Ethereum 2.0 deposit contract. My name is Kieran and I'll be your DeFi guide on your adventure through this space, bringing to you Ethereum DeFi content so that you've got the tools and the knowledge to thrive in this space. So I've got a lot of additional Ethereum 2.0 content for you and I'm sure you're going to find that valuable, especially if you're planning on running your own validator because there has been quite a lot of fantastic validator tutorials as well as a course that is happening very soon. It's completely free. And at the end of the video, I'll show you some long-term charts, which I think is incredibly useful and valuable if you want to have a big picture on what the potential is for Ethereum. So the rate of Ethereum deposits of the 2.0 contract would mean that the launch would be only on the 15th of January. And that is if this increase is happening in a linear fashion, because it's around 301.13 ETH that is deposited every hour. And like I mentioned in the last video, it is possible that big whales are waiting until the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, even the 24th to uh, add massive amounts of ETH into the deposit contract. So it's still possible that we will reach it. We are around at 20% and it's, it's gonna be super exciting to see it, but it doesn't really matter too much if we don't manage to uh, reach the 524,000 ETH that is necessary on, January, uh, on, on November 24th, then it's, it's just going to be postponed by a bit until we reach this amount of ETH. So nothing bad is going to happen. People are going to be a little bit dis disappointed, but um, nothing bad is going to, be, going, to, going to happen. So yeah, very interesting if we look at the, this linear calculation and that's really um, without taking into consideration the waiters that are waiting on the sidelines. So um, based on this, latest would be January 15th, but uh, I really hope that it's gonna be happening soon and Vitalik <laughs> shares the same opinion as me as uh, stated in a recent AMA. So what's also very uh, interesting is that the Piermont uh, testnet, Ethereum 2.0 testnet has launched, it had some difficulties uh, when running. So it had difficulties to find consensus and it was ha having problems um, with voting on which blocks uh, of the Ethereum 1 chain to include in the beacon chain. So this was um, a bit of an issue at the beginning, but now it's running without a problem and it's uh, finalized. Now, if you're interested in, in becoming a validator, I highly recommend to run your own validator on the testnet. The Medalla testnet is massively clogged up because a lot of people are entering as validators. So the waiting queue is super long. But if you're interested in becoming a validator, then you can also try out the Piermont um, testnet. So you can see a lot more information on Piermont.beacon chain. So here you can get all the information about the blocks. Um, Summer Essa, a very popular Ethereum 2.0 guide writer, has published a recent tutorial for staking on Ethereum 2.0 using Ubuntu, um, the Piermont testnet, and the Prism validator. I highly recommend that you use his guides since they go a lot more into detail with um, how you should set up your validator, including what kind of um, operating system he's using, um, many dependencies, so for example, Go Ethereum Node, Prismatic Labs, the, the validator client, I've made a few videos on that. Um, the wallet is using MetaMask, the Prometheus metrics and the Grafana dashboard. So it goes a lot more into detail and I highly recommend his guides. He also goes into things such as um, server security, um, how to set everything up so it's the most secure as possible. What also is fantastic is on the ETH Staker Reddit, there's going to be a Ethereum 2.0 validator workshop, which I think is fantastic. It's completely free. If you're still on the fence, you're not really sure how it works, I highly recommend that you participate in this um, stream. And this will happen on the 21st of November. It's on Saturday at 1 p.m. UTC or 8 a.m. EST. And it's really easy to join. You can, I, I'll add this link down below and you can actually join this for free. So you have to have a French installation of Ubuntu, desktop or server if you want to participate and do it as they're 
running the workshop, you also have to have a compatible machine that's capable of running as a validator. It's recommended to have 16 gigabytes of RAM, even though many guides say eight gigabytes of RAM. And you can also, um, you also have to have 32 girly ETH, which is the testnet ETH, doesn't have any value. So I highly recommend doing one of these things, either um, looking at the summary site guide for installing the validator, and also, if you've got the time, uh, participating in this workshop, because 32 ETH is definitely a lot of money. It's 15,000 US dollars at the current ETH price. So I recommend that you take this seriously. Um, yeah. So here are all the remaining information. I just link it down below so you can have fun with it. So the last piece of information I'd like to share with you, I think this is really interesting and I'm sure you know this euphoria um, curve. It's it's something that has been shared a uh, lot so with the hope, optimism, um, belief, thrill, euphoria and that we experienced during the ICO mania. And at the, it was like the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, when January in 2018, uh, Eve reached the highs of 1,400 US dollars. That was definitely the euphoria level and at the beginning of the year when we had the the black swan event uh, was definitely the depression phase where um, eve actually went down to the levels of around 90 dollars so definitely a, a good time to buy but a lot of people were uh, seeing a bleak future for ethereum and, and we're not too happy about the price but now we've rallied massively up onto 490 dollars and i don't see this stopping anytime soon so if we look at this point where we at that might right now we could basically compare it to before um, the beginning of the trend and it's definitely um, going to lead us hopefully in the next one to two years to the 10,000 US dollar ETH price range which I don't think is insanely uh, um, high number or estimation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. Make sure to help the algorithm, leave a like, it's completely free and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.